In total, there's 11 golf courses throughout the country of Panama, and we took a look at each one of those golf courses to bring you the top six golf courses throughout the country. So let's zoom on in to our number six golf course on this list. This course is a resort parkland style course that is 18 holes of championship golf. It's a beautiful course to start us off on this list, stretching 7,153 yards for a par 72 that was built and design in 2012. This Nicholas design course sets the tone very quickly on some of the best golf throughout the country, but it should be noted that this course was also helped by design by Tori Vincent as well in 2012. It has a driving range, practice facilities, and some of the best views throughout Panama that you can look at. The course is located on 700 acres and Jack Nicholas really put together an incredible parkland style course with some impressive backdrops and some arguable skyscrapers in that country. Now it's important to note that we're going to be constantly updating these lists periodically. We're not sure when we're going to be updating them, but nevertheless, we are going to be updating them. It's also important to note that there's packages available if you're looking to play this impressive resort style course. You can take a look at those packages at Troon Golf. That's correct. Troon Golf manages this incredible golf resort here. You can see it's it's not much outside of that golf course. Um, you know, it's a pretty developed country for the most part, but we wanted to bring you some of the best footage that we could of those courses and hopefully we'll get out there to bring you that but without further ado let's zoom on out because we still have five more golf courses to look at and twisting in to number five on this list another impressive parkland style course this resort stretches 7,200 and 73 yards from those back tees. As you can see, it's located right there on the water as well. The course is a par 72 with a slope of 150 and a course rating of 74. It was built in 2009 and was also has a driving range, practice facilities, and a ton of other amenities at this golf course to really set the tone for your golf experience and current green fees at this golf resort go from about 120 to about hundred and fifty dollars it's a very well-known course but will only make our number fifth golf course on this list and it's important to note that we'll be golfing all of these golf courses sometimes that's why it's important even more to subscribe as we continue to travel the world and play some of the best golf in the world. So without further ado, we still have four more golf courses to take a look at, twisting and turning into number four on this list. This private golf resort is listed as a par 72 right there on the ocean water. It stretches along 7,000 and 87 yards from those back tees. The course was built in 2005 by Randall Tomlinson, including a clubhouse and a ton of other amenities that saw some updates in the late 2000s. It's 18 holes of incredible golf course built by Tomlinson. Well, we are slowly moving in to the only three golf courses left to look at that are worth ranking on this list. And it gets tougher and tougher. That's why it's so important to subscribe because we're going to be updating these periodically. Let's zoom on to a course not there on the water and maybe should be a little bit further down on our list. But as we zoom on in, you can see right there that there's a lot going on there with the water. And a very well-known golf course nonetheless with a ton of water on it, Panama Golf Club. 
Now, this private golf course is a par 72 and stretches along 7,096 yards. The course has a slope of 137 and a rating of 73.3. It does have a pretty decent amount of history at this course, being built in the 70s in 1977 by Ray Kearns. It had some updates by him in 2000. In 14, it looks like, has a driving range, beautiful clubhouse, and spectacular waterfront greens, bunkers, and has been ranked a top golf course year in and year out by Golf Digest, Golf Magazine, and other major golf outlets that rank golf courses just like we do here at World Twilight Golfer. And we're going to be quickly moving into the two golf courses left on this list. The course gets better and better as we swing on through. And with no surprise, we're seeing even more water on some of these holes right there on the beach as well. And of course, very old with a ton of history being built in 1934. A private course that's a par 70 stretching only 5,826 yards. It has a slope of 117 and a rating of 68.3. The course has fairways that are ryegrass and also greens that are ryegrass as well. It has some beautiful, beautiful bunkers and the greens do putt true. It had some major renovations of a 6.5 major renovation in March of 2005. It's stretch is about five tee boxes to choose from. It's very walker friendly from what the, uh, the reviews online say. And we were able to get some great footage from these crew that is just putting together a fun round down in Panama. Well, we still have one golf course left. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe because we don't know what we're doing. Let's zoom on in to number one on our list. Year in and year out, it gets harder and harder to decide the number one golf course. We want to give it to a course there on the water, especially in a place like Panama. It's hard to believe that it's not going to go into that, but this course here is special. There in the mountains is an unbelievable 18-hole resort style course it has it's a par 72 but it does stretch 7294 yards the course has a slope of 153 and was not built too long ago in 2011 its fairways are bent grass along with its putting green surfaces it's listed as open year-round, as you would imagine there in Panama. And it's another course that was designed by Mike Molot. It has, it looks pretty expensive. Even the cart fees alone are thirty-seven forty-six. So it's one of those resorts that are going to be a bucket list resort year in and year out for anyone looking to play golf in this country. If you were interested in playing this golf course, the tee times run from 7.45 to 5 o'clock. And with, you know, it's Monday through Friday, it's $75 plus a 7% tax, so it's $80.25, and the car, golf cart is not included, which is that um, $30, $40 fee that I just mentioned. So for the most part, they're getting you with the fee. You're going to have to walk. You're not going to be able to walk this course. This course looks extremely long, uh, but it's a crowd favorite on Golf Now. It's been ranked number one golf course from major golf outlets. Not as many as you would think. They typically give the last course our number one, but we're going to give this course the number one list for the golf courses within Panama. If you've played this golf course, let us know in the comment section. We're putting together a major trip and Panama is on the list. So hopefully we'll get out there. If you live in this area, let us know because we're hopefully going to try to get out there and maybe get some footage 
of some better footage of the video's footage that we have right there and then go ahead and update the list. If you made it this far, keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is Twilight Gobbler. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. <laughs>